Hanoi, the commercial capital of Vietnam, epitomizes a country gaining Asian tiger status. Living standards are rising fast. But outside the cities, it's a different story. For most households, electricity is still a distant dream. At night, oil lamps or torches are the only source of light. But that's changing thanks to a centuries-old idea. 150 kilometers from Hanoi, it's mountain country. Home to the Muong, an indigenous ethnic group. Many are rice farmers, and few can afford the electricity from the new pylons that line the valleys. Instead, they're turning to a cheap alternative, using one of these, a pico-hydro turbine. All you need is a constant water supply and a slope with a one-meter drop. That creates a steady flow to drive the turbine fast enough for the electromagnet at the top to generate electricity. This is connected to the house, giving it a direct power supply. With Pico Hydro, you can use it for lighting, for a radio and for an electric fan. If the house has a TV, you can use it for that too. All over the area, people have opted for Pico Hydro. Imported 300 watt turbines, costing about $20 each, are the most popular. In some villages, nearly every household has one. The streams at the bottom of the valleys power a low tech grid local people have built for themselves. This way, everyone has a chance of getting connected. When night falls, houses with turbines are able to switch on. With better lighting, my wife can work and walk in the house easier, and my children have better light to do their homework. Unfortunately, there were problems. After a few months, the turbines lose power before eventually stopping altogether. This family's story is typical. The turbine they bought three years ago gave enough power for lights, a radio and CD player. But now they're back to life without power because the machine has failed. People here blame it on shoddy technology. There are two problems with Pico Hydro from China. One is the ball bearings and the other is the electromagnetic coil. At the local village workshop, there's a constant stream of broken turbines coming in for repair. But although the mechanic can do makeshift repairs, many can't afford even this. Back in Hanoi, a hydrotechnologist supported by the UK Department for International Development, or DFID, stepped in to sort things out. We've improved it by redesigning the turbine to get higher efficiency. The new design works with reliable bearings and electromagnets that don't need constant replacing. In the workshop, they've started small-scale production of the new turbines. These Vietnamese turbines are a more reliable alternative and the new design gives higher performance for low wattage models. The new local model costs double the imported, but the production team is confident prices will soon fall. Already those who can afford it have made the investment. And even though this man has the means to connect to the national grid, he is so pleased with his new turbine's performance, he's chosen not to. <laughs> If we use electricity from the grid, we have to limit our usage, and sometimes we have power cuts. But you are always able to use Pico Hydro. With this improved technology, people wherever they live can now have their own guaranteed electricity supply for an affordable one off payment. Being isolated no longer has to mean not connected.